Down two. What's up, peeps? Are you a controller player in Warzone 2.0 or Modern Warfare 2? Well, this video will help you change a few settings that will make that movement just a little bit smoother. So let's jump right into this video. And as well, special shout out to my newest members who give me a huge extra support to the channel. And you can become one for as low as 99 cents a month. Link is in the description. First one and most important one is gonna be here in the controller section, the edit button layout. Now I know a lot of you guys were like, well, should I play tactical flip? Like if I don't have paddles, anything like that, but they just added this new thing. I had actually never seen it before, but if you go here to custom button layout, you can actually change whatever button you want to be whatever you want. Now this, you could do this in a separate setting like on PlayStation, but it was a lot more complicated. Now you can basically change it to whatever you want. So like if you want to crouch with your circle, you can do that. If you want to crouch with the one that you would make, you could do that if you want to crouch with r2 then go ahead and do that and uh, this is going to be give you a lot of versatility specifically for those people that don't have paddles now i do have paddles in mind so obviously i'm not gonna have it turned on but something that i would suggest is maybe something like l2 i would probably switch it off like probably to the jumping one and then maybe throw flashes with x and then or you could crouch with this one like if you maybe want to do more drop shots you can do that but again this is going to give you significantly more versatility to change whatever you want and customize it to your needs and also one of the other things that i have here is if you have a playstation controller i definitely recommend you a hundred percent to switch this one right here which is flip l1 and r1 basically i shoot with i aim with l1 and i shoot with r1 instead of the trigger ones it's going to be a lot faster when you when, once you switch this ones when you make the change it'll be nice and smooth now, obviously, sensitivity is a big part in the movement, and this is just a simple answer, right? I mean, if your sensitivity is anything less than six, then movement will be a little bit harder. You won't be able to flick enemies. But if your aim, if your sensitivity is a little bit too high, then your aim will be significantly affected. So that's why I just suggest people to find somewhere right in the middle. If you guys want a more detailed explanation on how to find your sensitivity, check the video I post in the top. Now, going on to another one right here is we're gonna go to the bottom, and this one's gonna help you quite a lot. This one right here called focus behavior if you are the person that likes to run with snipers this one's going to make it a lot easier so usually the focus behavior is on hold meaning that with this one right here you have to hold it when you're with your sniper to hold your breath right but now with this one what happens when we have it on toggle well whenever we ads with our sniper i only have to click this once and the dude will be holding his breath and i can move freely and i won't have to apply pressure consistently with this thumb making my movement in my hands just feel a little bit better with the controller so something i definitely suggest a change next up obviously automatic tax print has been something for a while but i would suggest you go ahead and turn it on basically this just means that whenever you move your movement up your dude will start automatically tax printing again similar to the hold you won't have to hold down your joystick on this one so it makes it a lot easier now here this is uh, some question that a lot of people have how do you pick up things from the ground just by pressing square once that's where you have to put prioritize interact if you put prioritize reload that means that if you have a bunch of things on the ground and you want to reload you only tap square once to pick up and then hold to pick up any other things now also if you want to have smooth movement and everything like that remember to have your arm armor plate behavior on apply on and now after the update you'll move significantly faster while applying plate so this one's something that you want to have now here's where we get some interesting settings if you want the smoothest sort of movement then i would suggest you try the aim response curve type linear go ahead and try it out and let me know what you think but also something very very important here in the inputs dead zone this is something that you'll significantly feel a lot faster so you're going to change the left stick max which is the left stick is the one that you do the movement with and you're going to bring it down to 0.50 or 0.55 anything where your dude doesn't move by itself but what is this going to do well this is going to feel like that the second that you touch that left joystick your dude will start moving so if you combine the lower left stick max dead zone that we just changed right now that i showed you combined with the automatic tackle sprint this is going to mean that i mean the millisecond that you touch this one your dude will start automatically tax sprinting it's something you have to get used to at the beginning because it, it is really weird that you barely touching your dude starts running but once you get used to that you'll feel a lot faster and a lot more agile in those closer range gunfights 
Now I'm gonna show you a setting that you can change that will completely change the way, I don't know if you guys hate it sometimes that your dude mantles over things, like you, you wanna get on top of a ledge but he mantles over and then you fall off the building. This is where you can fix that. So in the tactical sprint behavior, we're gonna have one right below that that says ground mantle. Now there's two of them, ground mantle and automatic ground mantle. Both of these you wanna have off. If you have both of these off, that means that whenever you get near an edge, this is the automatic ground so whenever you get near an edge or anything like that your dude won't automatically mantle it and now the autumn the ground mantle off that this will mean that every time you hit x next to an edge or a ledge or anything like that your dude will go on top of it he won't no longer mantle the whole thing now this causes a few issues right obviously we can see here in the picture that sometimes the mantling is good right because if you're trying to run away from an enemy you can do that like parkour move that'll help you running smoothly but again, in those situations when you're on top of a building or something like that, you want to press X because you want to get on top of the thing. But the dude mantles over the building. Again, there's no there's no setting here to change that. So you'll just have to pick and choose. Again, I, I did have this one on because I did feel like I did mantle over a lot of things when I was running. But again, if you really just don't mind what will happen if you don't have ground mantle on, so you have to press X, you'll go on top of the thing and you'll just have to move forward. So again, this will just be a personal preference. You just have to try it and let me know which one's better for you. But again, ground mantle off, you will know if you have both of these off, you will no longer have that issue where you press X and your dude just flips over the building. And this one for the automatic airborne mantle, I would leave this at partial as well. And then this is the other one with the movement that a lot of people may like. You, th This is standard. This is how the setting usually comes. But what it does is that it inverts the slide and dive behavior. How it originally is, is that if you tap circle or you're sliding one once, then your dude will slide. Or if you hold it, then your dude will dive. But I do feel that diving is a little bit better actually in a lot of locations. So when you have it on inverted, that means that whenever you tap that circle once then that means your dude will dive and then if you hold it then your dude will slide and i've used it quite a bit and i actually like it so go ahead and change it if you like and then here all the way at the bottom just make sure that you have sprinting door bash on because if you don't then you'll just get like stuck in the door which is something that you need if you're pl while plating and then running through doors or anything like that make sure you have that one on on and then just here when you're either weapon mounting or anything like that that will help you with that faster movement here is uh, for the weapon mount exit have this on one on and then on the weapon mount exit delay you want to have this on short. This is the time whenever you're mounted on something and you stop mounting how long will that delay be and obviously you want it as short as possible on this one. And ladies and gentlemen those were all the settings that you can change within the warzone settings menu that will get you and help you a little bit of that smoother movement. As you guys notice a lot of these settings are personal preference but i'm showing you what these settings can do and how you can change them ladies and gentlemen peace out and i'll see you all in the next one